heading out to those those woods back out there and I'm going to do a camping trip for you and uh, hopefully we might be able to uh, get a hog kill on video. This is in the middle of July right now so the dog days of summer are just starting in Florida. Uh, it's going to be hot. It's going to be kind of sticky and humid. I'm probably going to get rained on this afternoon. That's okay. I'm getting out here kind of early as you see it's you might be able to tell from the shadows the sun is almost directly above so it's about midday that'll give me plenty of time to get in camp get settled in do check this out because uh, whether or not I kill anything at the very least you're going to see me brave the Florida woods without bug repellent I normally use a thermosel as you know I really believe in the thermosel uh, I'm actually going to be using dog fennel uh, you'll see in one of my previous videos I discovered that dog fennel here is a natural bug repellent. I, I found it on my own and then did some research after I discovered it and found out that it's actually scientifically known that fennels from around the world actually carry chemicals in them that repel some insects and that the Native Americans used to use dog fennel on their fires to keep mosquitoes away in the summertime. So I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to show you how you could build basically a natural thermosel by, uh, by burning dog fennel here and um, keeping the bugs away. All right, I want to show you what dog fennel is. This is a plant that grows throughout Florida. It's in the fennel family. I don't know if it's edible or not. It might be edible like other kinds of fennel. I don't know. But its value to us is it is full of a liquid that when you smoke it or rub it on your skin, it acts as a bug repellent. Uh, this plant, this time of year, is in about the middle stage of growth. There's many of them out here that are much taller than this one. But, um, in fact, I've already broke off some of the tallest shoots from this one. But this plant will change its appearance as the summer goes on. It starts growing in late spring and early summer. As the summer goes on, these stalks will get about head high, and the leaves will fall off the lower part of the stalk, but the leaves will fill out on the upper part of the stalk, and it'll look like a big green puffball about that big. I use the term puffball, not like a puffball, puff not like a cattail. Uh, if you've ever seen something called uh, pompous grass, uh, it looks a lot like the, the flowers of pompous grass, but um, this whole stalk will, the leaves just like this will just grow to about like that at the top of it, but you'll never mistake the smell of it. Take some of the leaves off like this, put them in your hand, crumple them up, smells very strong and that's what keeps the bugs away. So uh, I'm gonna collect some of this and uh, this is gonna be great for my fire when I get my camp established. I just wanted to show you some dog fennel that's starting to mature. See how tall it is? Let me get over here next to it. It's about head high. You can see that the lower parts of it here are starting to die and those leaves will continue to fall off while the leaves on the top will continue to get longer. So it does change its appearance as the year goes on. Okay, here's the spot I'm going to put my tent. It's under a swamp cabbage palm. I'm going to put the tent right there and it'll give me a clear shot right down there to the water. I'm gonna put my bait on the other side down there. I'll set my tent up and go down there and put bait out and I'll show you what it all looks like. My tent is set up. My next order of business is to dig my hole from a fire. I brought a little garden spade with me. Big little spot here that I hope is gonna be free of tree roots. Let's see if I can dig down here and get a little fire hole built. I can have the fire burning and the 
the smoke and the dog fiddles coming out. But the animals won't be able to see the fire at night. In survival books, this is often called a Dakota fire pit. Now, of course, before anyone's ever heard of the term Dakota, I don't know what they've called it. But whether you call it a Dakota fire pit or what, it's basically a hole for a fire with a little feeder chimney here to feed it oxygen. I'm going to get that going because the mosquitoes are already buzzing around me. If you listen, you can hear them. I don't have a doubt that the dog fennels keep the mosquitoes away. I've convinced myself of that. My next question is, does the dog fennel actually repel animals? And I don't know the answer to that. I had two hogs come in this evening, and both were very spooky. Now, some context here is that a lot earlier in the evening, I had shot a raccoon and let it lay. And the only reason I shot the coon was it was going to eat up my bait, and I didn't have a lot of bait out there. I didn't want him to do that, so I went ahead and put the coon down, 
and I let the coon lay. I didn't want to go out there and clean the coon because I didn't want to spook any hogs that might come up within the next, you know, few minutes or so. It just wasn't worth it for a raccoon. But see, that hog spooked right there and is going to go on, and that's actually a pregnant sow, so it's probably good I didn't kill her anyhow. But um, I suspect the hog was just reacting to the dead coon, and that's what spooked her, but I don't know for sure. One reason I leave open the possibility that it might have been the dog fennels is I saw no deer this trip, and I should see deer every time I sit in this particular spot. And if I'm not seeing deer at all, that's telling me that there is something else going on, either uh, my scent's getting whipped all around, or the smell of the little fire I made is still lingering, even though it was hours ago since I had last uh, fed it anything. Um, you know, it could have been any number of things, but something was definitely spooking the hogs. See every little screech owl hunting over the water hole. In just a little bit, I'll see him turn his head and look real intent at something over his shoulder. And it'll actually be another hog coming down. There's the hog. And I'm thinking, oh, surely now I'm going to get my shot. He's just moseying on down. He seems relaxed. And then he gets out here and looks ahead. And he'd be looking about where the coon was laying. And he decides to leave. So it very well could be that I messed up by shooting that coon early in the evening. However, just to be safe, next time I won't smoke dog fennels where I'm hunting at. I'll just save that for camp. By the way, the Dakota Fire Pit... They're really, really great for cooking. Uh, the little pots that I like to use, uh, I have a real hard time keeping on a burner. But the um, Dakota Fire Pit does a really good job, and I really like it. Thank you all for watching, and I'm going to try to get back out there. I know these hogs are coming in, and I'm going to go back out there and sit another night in the next few nights coming up and try to get a hog and get it on video for you all. Thank you for watching.